I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to make roasted carrots. So I have my carrots here all ready to roast. Um, I have about six carrots that have been clean, peeled, and kind of chopped into these nice little like one and a half inch, two inch little bite sized nummies, perfect for roasting and eating. I also have two tablespoons of olive oil and then salt and pepper which I'm just going to sprinkle to taste. I have a baking dish over here and then also some tin foil because that's going to help with our cleanup. We're going to make this as easy as possible. Roasting super easy so I'm going to show you how. So let's take our baking dish and I'm just going to line it with tin foil. Just kind of press it in. And I want to have room left over on the top because I'm just going to kind of fold it in and make a nice little tent and cover it. So let's just put our carrots in now. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now let's drizzle the olive oil. And then as we drizzle it, I'm just going to make sure everything gets covered. And I'm going to give it a nice little toss with my hands. If you don't want to do that, you don't want to get messy, I totally understand. Just get some spoons or a spatula or something. But I just want to make sure that all of my carrot pieces are nice and coated and glistening. Okay, great. Have a towel handy if you do that. And now onto our salt and pepper. So just, this is to taste. So use a lot or use a little, whatever is clever for you. And now some salt. Beautiful, how fast is this, right? My oven behind me has been preheating at 400 degrees, so now I'm just going to kind of fold this over, make a nice little tent. I'm gonna give it room to breathe, you know, I'm not like smushing it down. I just want to cover it so the heat kind of stays in. Now you could certainly just do this in like a little um, aluminum foil basket like this, but it's always nice when you're working with olive oil in your oven to have something to catch it just in case you get a little tear. The last thing you want is like a grease fire, all, you know, olive oil everywhere. It's just a bad scene. This is a good scene and we're going to put it in the oven now, um, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and check it then. We'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Our carrots are out of the oven. Um, I already did the fork test, but I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. So if you're ever not sure if they're done, which they just look beautiful, you can do the fork test. So if it just inserts easily. Now carrots, you always want a little bit of give still. Obviously you don't want it to be like a potato where it's just like totally mushy, but you just want it to be able to be inserted easily. You can easily spear it and you know it's ready to go. So let's move this over. It smells so good onto our plate. Now something to note, although we just did like olive oil, you know, salt and pepper, um, if you're doing roasted carrots like this, you could always um, garnish them with like some, you know, nice fresh herbs like parsley or even chives would be really good. Um, all sorts of lovely, lovely things you can do with your roasted carrots. And there you have it. Easy enough, super delicious, ready to go. That's how you roast carrots. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.